Right. And this morning I just want to talk about the Armstrong Report because this document is an extremely important document and its value cannot be underestimated or taken lightly or disregarded or ignored as we see the government is doing. The Armstrong Report is a document of process. It's a document which tells the government what is the proper process and procedures that need to be followed in executing a project, the David and Mondesi project. We know that it was produced by 19 independent experts in various fields, all relevant to this issue of traffic and transportation planning, archaeology, law, social impact assessment, environmental impact assessment, etc. Coming out of the, the Armstrong report with 10 recommendations. We know also that the, let me remind everybody that the government participated fully in this process, in this review process. We know that they paid, they even paid for it, paid for the review. But now we are saying that, now that the recommendations have been published and brought into the public domain, the government's refusing to abide by these recommendations. Why? Why is that? Is it because it's not in keeping with what they want? Well, that is unacceptable. The Armstrong Report is a document of process, as I said, it's a scientific document. It is factual, it is evidence-based. It is based on research, intense research, critique and analysis. And coming out of that with 10 recommendations. The recommendations that would say that work on the David to Mondesi segment of this highway project must not continue until a number of substantive studies are done with regard to cost-benefit analysis, social impact assessment and hydrology report and a hydrology study. The fact that work is still going on in the David to Mondesi segment and the recommendations, these studies have not been done, is telling us that the government has no regard or no respect for these recommendations, no respect for best practice guidelines on which these recommendations were made, and proper process. Um, the, the report also points to a number of <coughs> illegalities and irregularities involved in this project. It even stated that the CEC document itself is flawed. <coughs> And it is extremely important that these three studies are done first before a way forward is determined. And we see that the government is, is just completely disregarding this. The Armstrong Report, as I see it, and for anybody who has read that document, would know that any government that is striving for transparency and accountability in governance will abide by those recommendations. But yet our government is not abiding by those recommendations. 